wonderful to be connecting to you all who are interested in the stars and I'm one of you. I'll share with you with some pictures, a picture story of what we do here in Ladakh and how we think in collaboration with Astronera to make stargazing widely available for all those who visit the mountains and those who live in the mountains to benefit from this and ultimately benefiting the planet. So before we go into what we do and what we hope to do, let me introduce where I am and uh, what this place Ladakh is. We are the top north of the country and uh, across rather than in the Himalayas. We are actually trans Himalayas. This is actually a picture of the Mars. This is what I see and you will see that it's not very different from the previous picture except for those little human signs and some clouds at this time. Otherwise it's very much like the picture of Mars and that's why I showed so you can compare. And it, you know, feels like outer space. At this height, I'm at 3,500 meters, 11,500 feet. And uh, you can see how outer space like it is from the temperatures. They go up to plus 35 in summers and minus 35 in winters. This is a hallmark of space fluctuations in temperature. They say this is one place where you can have a sunburn in your head and a frostbite in your feet if you have your head in the sun and feet in the shade in the winter. So that's how much like outer space it is. But, but today we are faced with huge challenges for no fault of ours. We are not a part of the cause, but we are very much a part of the effect. Global warming is melting these glaciers that are the lifeline of Ladakh. Without them, life wouldn't even be possible. And every few years, we have droughts. Crops fail because the glaciers are melting very fast and there is not enough water trickling down. We are not sitting hand on hand in the face of these challenges. At this school that was established some 30 years ago, which was in itself an, a revolution in education, in that we believed that the system was responsible of failing the students rather than students failing. At this school, everything, almost everything runs with the sun's energy, whether it is cooking, or vegetable growing in greenhouses, or natural lighting of the rooms, classrooms, or electricity, water heating, water pumping, even the cows live in solar heated cow sheds here. So this is how much we try to use our sun, our private nuclear fusion reactor. Now we have been looking forward to play with the stars after playing with sun for many years and for some years we have been dreaming of making stars a part of our education at the school. This is how I used to see up in the sky in from my village and while making me curious and interested about the universe it had a strong effect on my life right on earth on ground. You know, as a child, my elder brothers and sisters tell me that I used to be very, uh, as a little boy, very selfish. I would say I, I, I should get everything. When I grow up, I'll take all the land in the village, etc., etc. And uh, the effect that stargazing had on me is just uh, unbelievable. It made me think of, you know, all these great grand galaxies and then in one of those galaxies we our galaxy miss milky way so many planetary systems 
and then among these millions we have our solar system and on that solar system we have a tiny planet for earth made me feel how insignificant how small we are compared to all that is out there and then the idea of my land your land my fence your fence became ridiculous i ended up not taking any part of my family land this is what astronomy can do to somebody it becomes meaningless to own a little part of this planet i would like ladakh and the mountains to be a pilgrimage place where people who are genuinely interested in the mountains and in the universe come and see from this place which is best place to show the universe not just the mountain so all over ladakh astronomy is a possibility and tourism astro tourism is a great possibility because of the higher altitudes here in the mountains the clear skies the lower moisture transparency and relatively low light pollution here although it is increasing and it is a concern we would like with you all to launch a movement to stop that with the astronera we are partnering to rouse the interest of young so that they not only broaden their vision and uh, yeah shape their understanding of life and our planet uh, but also give them livelihoods because they can then become entrepreneurs who have home stays with astronomy included so it has been a wonderful uh, collaboration hopefully many of them will start these harmless non polluting sustainable um, livelihoods in their own villages and that's how we can keep the himalayas uh, clean and green but yes light pollution is becoming more and more a problem even in lay city you can see there's a lot of uh, lighting up happening so there is now a discussion going on in ladakh how to reduce that not only for gazing stars but also it's such energy waste to light up the skies to light up the heavens when you want actually light on your own ground is such a senseless waste of energy elsewhere in big cities developed cities it is much worse so much light pollution which you know causes um much of the emissions that cause global warming and that melts our glaciers so this will be a worthwhile movement to cut emission and pollution and save our glaciers at the same time make it more possible to enjoy the night skies and make a livelihood out of the stars to protect our glaciers and protect our global environment and all the living beings on the planet we really want to give this message to the world as i have been doing for several uh, years now four years we have run this movement called i live simply movement so we give this sos all to the big cities of the world so our message is please live simply in the big cities so we may simply live in the mountain this is the movement that we started on the 150th birth anniversary of mahatma gandhi so this is one of the campaigns and to make it even more serious uh, last winter i came up with another movement to appeal to the government to safeguard the mountain ecologies of the himalayas and to appeal to the people that uh, they should change their lifestyles because places like ladakh will be hurt and harmed most will become climate refugees so all is not well in ladakh and to stress this further i went on a climate fast eating nothing only on water in minus 25 outdoors in january and in the summer heat 9 days climate fast 
to send the message to the people that it's time we change our lifestyles. It's time we don't waste energy, we don't pollute the skies, pollute the air and uh, cause global warming. The people from Ladakh supported in huge numbers. The support all over the country was great and in Ladakh, half the city which has only a population of 20,000, 10,000 people gathered to support this movement. This winter I am planning to go on a 21 days climate fast which is the longest that Mahatma Gandhi kept and I hope that people will start paying attention to these issues and make the planet better. This is not the end, it's only the beginning. Thank you everybody, enjoy your day and enjoy your night and the stars.